The Resources Summary tab in the Analysis window is like having a dynamic index to resources on the words that you hold your mouse cursor over in the Browse window for Greek or Hebrew, grammatical information on those words, or a way to find how the verse that you're currently studying is referenced in many resources in Bible works. So when the Resources Summary tab is set for Resources Summary, it's functioning as this dynamic index. Lexicons, grammars, and references allows you to pick and choose which of these resources you wish to display when you're in the summary mode. The Resources Summary tab updates to new information concerning the verse that you're displaying in the Browse window when you change to a new verse. And also when you mouse over different Greek or Hebrew words. As with mousing over items in the Analysis tab, when you hold down the Shift key, that will freeze the Resources Summary tab, so you can then scroll down to other information, like different lexicons, grammars, or references concerning that verse. So what you'll find when you hold your mouse cursor over a Greek or Hebrew word is that it shows the lemmas that make up that word, parsing information for those lemmas, and then links to lexicon entries, grammars, and references concerning that word or verse. So we can click on one of these links to view the lexicon entries for the word. Clicking it will open up the lexicon browser. And the entries that list at the top for each lexicon will take you to the beginning of the article for that word. Where it shows the verse reference, that'll take you to the entry for the word listed there, but where the current verse serves as an example for some use of that word. When that's clicked on, you'll see that the verse mentioned is highlighted. Grammars function much the same. I'll hold down Shift while I have my mouse cursor over on the word, move the mouse into the Resources Summary tab, and I'll scroll down to where the grammars are listed. Then I can go to Articles on that form of the word, or places where this verse is mentioned as an example. We go down to the reference section. We see that you can open up many resources to where the verse is mentioned. The amount of information available to you through the Resource Summary tab is vast, and it can be overwhelming. If you'd like to limit the resources that are on display, you can do so through these additional tabs in the Resources tab. For example, let's say we wish to display just lexicons and grammars for Hebrew Bible study. I'll click on this Lexicons tab, and then notice at the bottom of the tab, we have a choice for Select All and Clear All. I'll clear the tab, and then I'll choose only a few lexicons that I wish to use. I'll choose just the Holiday and the Brown Driver Briggs. Then I'll go to Grammars, Clear All, and then choose several grammars here. And then not wanting to work with many references at this time, I'm going to clear all the references. I'll go back and click on Summary, then mouse over a word, hold down Shift to freeze the Resources Summary tab. When I go back to the Resources Summary tab and then scroll through, I don't have as many resources to scroll through. And I might find that a little bit more manageable in my study. You can change the order of the display of the resources as well. Click on one of the tabs like Lexicons and click on one of the items. Then use these spin buttons at the bottom. 
to move it up or down in order. You can do the same with any of these resources. And go back to summary and it will have adjusted your order. So you can set the resources summary tab to your liking. Other resources can always be added back in. With the check mark. Or just select all to add them all back in.